I'm here to do this tile repair. They came and patched all this and they couldn't stop the leak. Uh, there's a leak underneath the, uh, this uh, area. I think what I need is it's uh, flashing. But these guys, they came and put plastic around and they couldn't stop the leak anymore. Anyways, I'm going to send a video on YouTube. So I'm going to teach you how to do it the proper way. First, you're going to have to get rid of this fucking mess they made. And then remove the tiles around the thing and then start from scratch. Okay. the valleys please uh, do not leave the the vattens close to the valley okay because then you create a lot of problems for the next roofer yeah water leaks on that side have water leaks on the other valley so in this video I'm going to show you how do I do the valleys okay I'm done with the fireplace I'm installing the flashing okay look uh, this is called tile pan this one, I'm gonna add another aluminum piece right here to mount on top of this tile. So this channel is gonna mount here. So the water that runs over here is gonna is gonna run on top of the, this tile. And then right here, I'm gonna fill up the gaps with uh, mortar cement. And uh, that's the way I do it. And then this is called tile open, okay? See, I don't use cement. So the water runs on top of the tile pan. The top, the tile pan runs on top of the tile. See, this is the tile pan. This is the metal tile pan, and this is the flashing that's gonna go around the fireplace. It's called uh, counter flashing. And right now, I'm measuring and cutting. You see, I'm gonna use this flashing like this, like the way it was. They left a fucking mess right here. A lot of guys they don't have a clue how to do tile and they go ahead and install tile roof. Please do not mount the the uh, um, the wood battens on top of the on top of the uh, valley and also close to the valley because you're gonna have problems, okay? Right here they had a water leak, severe water leak underneath and they they put plastic all over here and they couldn't stop it because it's coming from the valley. See, they tried to fix it. They couldn't fix it. These are called wannabe roofers. Fuck. Look at this.
after installing new felt, I'm installing the new tiles, I mean the same tiles. Make sure that you save your uh, cuts that belong to the... Uh, I broke this one, that's why I'm going to make a new cut right here. But anyway, uh, I don't recommend you to use a battening if you don't have to. This one is a barely 3 and 12, 4 and 12 uh, slope, so you don't need new wood battens because the wood batten, if you have a leak, a broken tile, the wood is going to trap the water and then it's going to get damaged. So, if I was in my house, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a wood battens, but it's your choice. I prefer nails versus battens. Unless it's a steep house, then you need them. It's a requirement, but like this, you can just nail them. Okay, guys? I'm almost done. And the other side is done, and my friend is doing the, the other side too. So he's over there. So we're almost done. And then we're gonna put some mortar. This guy didn't use no mortar, you see it? He's supposed to use mortar right here to make a slope. This guy didn't use no mortar. Then I put a new fire, fire uh, fireplace, uh, I put a new flash into it. And then I'm gonna paint it red so it'll match. Right here I use a piece of aluminum flushing to tuck it underneath the tile pan and then the aluminum since I can fold it, I can fold it to the shape of the tile and then mount it on top of the tile underneath. Right here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tuck it underneath this one like this and then shape it to the sheath so the water is going to run like this. Okay. so because the uh, galvanized metal is so hard to bend so when you if you can grab aluminum somewhere and then just uh, use it okay guys see ya and this is how I hold it I put some uh, silicone there and then silicone on the tile sticks on this side sticks on this side keeps it down right here too right here too and I continue with my row of tile from there and uh, that's it and then these tiles are gonna go on top of this. So when the water runs, it's gonna exit right here. So it's gonna run on side on the, on the side of the the fireplace, and then it's gonna it's gonna drop on top of the the lower tile. So this is the idea. Okay, you don't have to put any concrete around the fireplace because it looks ugly. They do that in England and in other countries, but not here in the United States. Okay. So this is another country, another. Uh, installation code so please stick to them thank you very much I'm gonna stick some tiles to the bottom one just make sure that you clean on the on the uh, top of the tile apply some silicone right here on the sides then and that's gonna be enough to hold the tile on the top see like this one's gonna go like this And then this one's gonna go here. And this, I'm just gonna lift this up. And we apply mortar to the end of the tile where it meets the, the stud. The existing tile doesn't have any mortar. See, it's missing. Just to have, you're supposed to have mortar first of all to cover the nail hole, and second to uh, to uh, not allow the uh, weather to damage the to hit the uh, the two by six, the two by eight uh, rich uh, uh, stud when it's raining hard. So this guy didn't put any mortar, so I wonder why. Anyway, I'm here to do my work and, uh, and just to 
do it the right the way I know. This is the valley we've closed it already. We're done. Just gonna paint the pipes and uh, seal it. And that's it. Done with this tile repair. Put the tiles back in place. I replace the broken ones with uh, some close match ones and uh, close the valleys again. Put the ridge cap, put mortar at the end, and then I put a new flush into the fireplace. Right now, I'm gonna make you a test how the how the uh, tile pen works. See, tile. Water goes here and it exits right here. You see it? It goes underneath the tile and it drips right here. Same on the other one. So you don't have to put any mortar against the fireplace. Okay, you see it? Watch. See? Water's gonna run underneath the tile and then exit over there. That's how the system works. So you have to learn how the system works before you go out and do repairs. But anyway, if you have a little knowledge about tile, go ahead and do it. There's nothing wrong with it. Put a new flashing to it. The flashing that I installed around the fireplace is called counter flashing. If you have a little knowledge about tile, you can do your own repair, but if you don't, then make sure they do it right. The right job, okay? Garcia, my recommendation is do not use wood battens if you have a tile roof that it's uh, less than 5 and 12, 6 and 12. Don't use any wood battens. My recommendation also do not install turbines like this, whirly birds, whatever you call it, because they're not designed for tile roofs. I'll tell you why. These guys they install uh, this turbine. I don't know how they did it, but You're not supposed to install turbines on a, on a tile roof unless you have a, a aluminum flashing. But anyway, nobody can stop you from doing that. Okay? So this is another tile repair. Hopefully, in this video, I show you some tricks of the trade. Okay? Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye. God bless.